Okay, so we're going to look at HubSpot today and see um, if we can embed a form into Bubble or into Bubble app. So HubSpot is a well-used CRM and sort of marketing uh, automation uh, piece of software. Uh, popular with startups because it's got a kind of free plan that you can use. And you can create forms inside there like a lead capture form that might have first name, last name, email address. And you can then produce a bit of M embed code that you can move onto a website or in our case into a Bubble app. So um, we're going to look and see how we get that working inside Bubble. So if I move to Bubble, uh, got an editor here, I've got a page called Embed um, and it's just a blank page at the moment. And I'm going to drag and drop a HTML box of visual element onto there. I'm just going to remove that. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut and paste um, the embed code or JavaScript snippet that I get from uh, HubSpot. Here it is. Uh, it's actually three kind of little JavaScript snippets in there. You can see that I've got uh, one here, uh, one here, and then one at the top here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first two and I'm just going to cut them out of there. Uh, and I'm going to double click on the page and pull up the page property editor and in the page HTML header down the bottom here I am going to paste in those two bits of JavaScript. Now they actually load the, um, the the Java that's required to show the form so by putting them in here they will actually load on the page load uh, so that will be done once the page is loaded. Let's go back and find our HTML again. This little bit of the snippet actually um, let's just hide it up, actually loads the form itself However, in Bubble, this will not display. So this won't appear in the HTML. So anybody that's tried that and it didn't work, that's why it won't work. What we need to do is give it a target. We need to give it another object or another element where we want to display it. And we can put another little bit of code. We can just add to it. Uh, so all I've added here is comma, target, colon, quote, hash, and then HubSpot form, which is a dynamic name. It could be anything. I can call it whatever I like, followed by another quote. So this is the little bit that I've added, and that goes after the form ID. Um, so that's all you need to add, and that will send the output from this little script to HubSpot form. All right, so now we need a HubSpot form. So let's grab a group container, put that onto the page, and let's go down to the bottom here, and I've got this ID attribute uh, box at the bottom of the property editor. If that's not appearing for you, you need to go to your settings, and then your general tab, and down here, you've got expose the options to add an ID attribute to HTML elements. If you tick that, then that box will appear on all of your elements. And in here, we can put in hub spot form, like so. Um, and that should link the two together now, and it should display in this group. So let's have a little look. Let's see whether that actually works. Uh, and now what should happen is this form should display inside your app. A user or a lead can come along, put in their username, uh, sorry, their first name, last name, company name, email, etc. Click submit, and that will go straight into HubSpot. And there you go, it's working. Hopefully, that helps. Uh, some people sort that out.